monitoring them. From Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at en.wikipedia.org. Altrincham is a town within the metropolitan borough of Trafford in Greater Manchester, England. It lies on flat ground south of the River Mersey, 7.7 .7 miles, 12.4 kilometres southwest of Manchester city centre, and 4.2 miles, 6.8 kilometres south southeast of Stretford. It has a population of 67,000. Historically, a part of Cheshire, Altrincham was established as a market town in 1290 a time when most communities were based around agriculture rather than trade, and there is still a market in the town today. Further socio-economic development came with the extension of the Bridgewater Canal to Altrincham in 1765 and the arrival of the railway in 1849, stimulating industrial activity in the town. Outlying villages were absorbed by Altrincham's subsequent growth, along with the grounds of Dunham Massey Hall, formerly the home of the Earl of Stamford, and now a tourist attraction with three Grade 1 listed buildings and a deer park. Altrincham today is a commuter town, partly because of its transport links, particularly the Metrolink. The town has a strong middle class presence. There has been a steady increase in Altrincham's middle classes since the 19th century. It is also a centre for sport, being home to Altrincham Football Club and an elite ice hockey club, Manchester Phoenix. Section 1. History. The name Altrincham, currently spelt A-L-T-R-I-N-C-H-A-M, first appears as Aldringham, A-L-D-R-I-N-G-E-H-A-M, probably meaning homestead of the Alders people. It has been, and continues to be, misspelt as A-L-T-R-I-N-G. G -H -A -M. There is evidence of human activity in the area during prehistoric and Roman times. Two Neolithic arrowheads and the remains of a Roman road running through Broadheath have been discovered. The road linked the Roman fortress of Chester, Diva, with the fort of York, Iboricum, and it appears to have been in use for a considerable period of time, as it has been repaired. Until the Norman invasion, the manors surrounding present-day Altrincham were owned by the Saxon thane Alwood. After the invasion, they became the property of Hammond de Massey. Altrincham was not mentioned in the Doomsday Book. The earliest documented reference to the town was in 1290, when it was granted its royal charter as a free borough by Baron Hammond de Massey V. The charter allowed a weekly fair to be held, and it is possible that de Massey established the town to generate income through tolls, dues and taxes from trade, suggesting that Altrincham may have been a planned market town. That would have been unusual during the Middle Ages, when most communities were agricultural. Altrincham Fair became St James's Fair, or Sam Jam, in 1319, and continued until 1895. Fair days had their own court of pie powder, a corruption of the French for dusty feet, presided over by the mayor and held to settle disputes arising from the day's dealings. On the extinction of the Massey family in 1340, the lands of Altrincham passed to the Earl of Stamford. By 1348, the town had 120 burgage plots, ownership of land that can be used as a measure of status and importance in an area, putting it on a par with Macclesfield and above Stockport and Nutsford. Though the Earl remained in charge overall, in the 15th century, the government of Altrincham fell to a court leet. The oldest confirmed residence in Altrincham, although now demolished, was the Knoll on Stamford Street. An excavation by South Trafford Archaeological Group in 1983 discovered evidence that the house dated from the 13th or 14th century and that it may have contained a drying kiln or malting floor. During the English Civil War, men from Altrincham fought for the parliamentarian Sir George Booth. During the war, armies camped several times on nearby Bowdoin Downs. The extension of the Bridgewater Canal to Altrincham in 1765 stimulated the development of market gardening, and for many years Altrincham was notable for its vegetables. When the canal was completed in 1776, it provided a water route from Manchester through Altrincham to the Irish Sea. By 1767, warehouses had been built alongside the canal in Broadheath, the first step in Altrincham's industrialisation 
and the development of Broadheath as an industrial area. In July 1845, the Act of Parliament allowing for the construction of the Manchester South Junction and Altrincham Railway, MSJAR, was passed. At 8am, 20th of July 1849, the first railway train left Altrincham, carrying 65 passengers. The MSJAR had two stations in the town, Altrincham, on Stockport Road, and one called Bowden, though not actually in Bowden, on Lloyd Street and Railway Street. They were both closed in 1881 and replaced by Altrincham and Bowden Station on Stamford New Road. Broadheath Railway Station, at the northern edge of the town, on the London and North Western Railway line, was opened in 1854. The Cheshire Midland Railway, later the Cheshire Lines Committee, opened from Altrincham to Nutsford on the 12th of May 1862. In the late 1800s, Altrincham became a base from which professionals and industrialists would commute to Manchester. A notable early commuter was the calico printer William Neald, who travelled daily by coach from High Lawn in Bowden in the 1840s. However, the less well-to-do would commute by express or flyer barges from Broadheath. With the coming of the railway, the areas in and around Altrincham became very desirable places for the middle classes and commuters to live. Between 1851 and 1881, the population increased from 4,488 to 11,250. The industrial area of Broadheath, spanning an area of 250 acres, 101 hectares, was founded by Harry Gray, 8th Earl of Stamford, in 1885, for the purpose of attracting businesses. By 1900, Broadheath had its own docks, warehouses and electricity generating station, the site's proximity to rail, canal and road proved attractive to companies making machine tools, cameras and grinding machines. The presence of Tileman's Sandblast Company Limited and the Linotype and Machinery Company established Broadheath as an industrial area of national standing. By 1914 there were 14 companies operating in Broadheath, employing thousands of workers. One of those was the Budenberg Gauge Company. A direct result of the industrialisation of Broadheath was a population boom and the creation of 172 workers' homes by linotype near the factory. Between 1891 and 1901, the population of Altrincham increased by 35% from 12,440 to 16,831. In 1931, the MSJAR line was electrified with 15,000 volt DC overhead lines one of the first electrified railway lines in Great Britain. At the same time, a further Altrincham station was opened on that line, at Navigation Road, to serve the housing developments in the area. By 1937, there were 130 train services daily between Manchester and Altrincham. There was little change in Altrincham from the turn of the 20th century to the start of World War II. Although experiencing some bombing as part of the Luftwaffe's raids on Greater Manchester, the town emerged from the war relatively unscathed and, along with the rest of Britain, experienced a boom period shortly after. This manifested itself in the construction of new housing and the rebuilding of the town centre in the 1960s. However, the boom period was followed by a depression in the 1970s, during which time employment at Broadheath fell by nearly 40%. In 1974, Altrincham became part of the newly formed Metropolitan Borough of Trafford. Section 2. Governance. Civic History. Altrincham became a free borough in 1290, a self-governing township. That remained the case until the Municipal Corporations Act of 1835, which did not recognise the town's borough status. Altrincham's growing population led to unsanitary conditions in the town, and the Public Health Act of 1848 led to the creation of Altrincham's Board of Health in 1851 to address this problem, ahead of the rest of Trafford. An urban district council in the administrative county of Cheshire was established for Altrincham under the Local Government Act 1894. The district was incorporated as a municipal borough in 1937. With the passage of the Local Government Act 1972, the administrative counties and municipal boroughs were abolished, and Altrincham became part of the Metropolitan Borough of Trafford in Greater Manchester on the 1st of April 1974. Political representation. 
Altrincham was in the parliamentary constituency of Altrincham and Sale from 1945 until 1997, when it became part of the newly created constituency of Altrincham and Sale West. Since its formation, Altrincham and Sale West has been represented in the House of Commons by the Conservative MP Graham Brady. At the 2005 general election, the Conservatives won a majority of 7,159 and 46.4% of the vote. Labour won 30.3% of the vote, Liberal Democrats 21.7% and the United Kingdom Independence Party 1.7%. This is one of only a small number of seats in the North West held by the Conservative Party and the only one in Greater Manchester. The town is within Trafford Metropolitan Borough. Trafford Council is responsible for the administration of local services such as education, social services, town planning, waste collection and council housing. The area is divided into seven electoral wards, Altrincham, Bowden, Broadheath, Hale Central, Hale Barnes, Timperley and Village. These wards have 21 out of the 63 seats on the Trafford Council. As of the 2007 local elections, 17 of these seats were held by the Conservative Party and four by the Liberal Democrats. The councillors for the Altrincham ward are Councillor Alex Williams, Conservative. Councillor Mrs Susan Williams, Conservative, Leader of the Council. Councillor Michael Young, Conservative, Chairman of Accounts and Audit Committee. Section 3. Geography. For further information, see the article entitled Geography of Greater Manchester. At 53 degrees 23 minutes 2 seconds north, 2 degrees 21 minutes 17 seconds west, 53.3838, minus 2.3547, Altrincham is on the southwestern edge of the Greater Manchester urban area, immediately south of the town of Sale, 8 miles, 13 kilometres from Manchester city centre. It lies in the northwest corner of the Cheshire Plain, just south of the River Mersey. The Bridgewater Canal passes through the Broadheath area of the town. Altrincham's drinking water is supplied by United Utilities and sourced from the Lake District about 90 miles, 145 kilometres away. The local bedrock consists mainly of Kuiper waterstone, a type of sandstone, and water retrieved from those rocks is very hard and often saline, making it undrinkable. The climate of Altrincham is generally temperate, with few extremes of temperature or weather. The mean temperature is slightly above average for the United Kingdom, whereas both annual rainfall and average hours of sunshine are slightly below the average for the UK. Divisions and suburbs. Altrincham is one of the four major urban areas in Trafford, the other three being Sale, Stretford and Urmston. The Altrincham area, as defined by Trafford Metropolitan Borough Council, comprises the south of Trafford. In addition to the town of Altrincham, it includes the villages of Timperley, Bowden, Hale and Hale Barnes. The Broadheath area of the town was a light industrial centre until the 1970s, but is now a retail park. The most densely populated part of the town is around the town centre, with the less populated areas and more green space further from the centre of town in villages such as Bowden and Hale. Section 4. Demography As of the 2001 UK census, the town of Altrincham had a total population of 67,061. Of the 27,900 households in Altrincham, 41.6% were married couples living together, 28.6% were one-person households, 7.3% were cohabiting couples, and 7.8% were lone parents. The population density is 1,460 inhabitants per square kilometre, 3,781 per square mile, and for every 100 females there were 95.2 males. Of those aged 16 to 74 in Altrincham, 18.7% had no academic qualifications, lower than the 21.3% in all of Trafford and 28.9% in England. 6.8% of Altrincham's residents were from outside of the United Kingdom, low compared with the English average of 9.2%. There is a low proportion of non-white people, 4.6%. The largest minority group was Jewish, at 2.8% of the population. In 1931, 
14.6% of Altrincham's population was middle class, compared with 14% in England and Wales, and by 1971 this had increased to 28.8%, compared with 24% nationally. Parallel to this increase in the middle classes of Altrincham was the decline of the working class population. In 1931, 30.3% were working class, compared with 36% in England and Wales. By 1971, this had decreased to 18.6% in Altrincham and 26% nationwide. The rest of the population was made up of clerical workers and skilled manual workers. The change in social structure in Altrincham was at a similar rate to that of the rest of the nation, but was biased towards the middle classes, making Altrincham the middle class town it is today. Altrincham compared from the 2001 UK census. Total population. Altrincham, 67,061. Trafford, 210,145. England, 49,138,831. White. Altrincham, 95.4%. Trafford, 91.6%. England, 90.9%. Asian. Altrincham, 2.3%. Trafford, 4.1%. England, 4.6%. Black. Altrincham, 0.4%. Trafford, 2%. England, 2.3%. Jewish. Altrincham, 2.8%. Trafford, 1.1%. England, 0.5%. Over 65 years old, Altrincham, 16.4%, Trafford, 16.2%, England, 15.9%. Population change. Year, 1801. Population of Altrincham, 1,692. 1811, 2,032. 1821, 2,302, 1831, 2,708, 1841, 3,399, 1851, 4,488, 1861, 6,628, 1871, 8,478, 1881, 11,250, 1891, 12,440, 1901, 16,831, 1911, 17,813, 1921, 20,450, 1931, 21,356, 1939, 39,940, 1951, 39,789, 1961, 41,122, 1971, 40,786, 2001, 67,061. Section 5. Economy. Historically, Altrincham was a market town with a small number of its population employed in agriculture. During the Industrial Revolution, Altrincham grew as an industrial town, particularly the Broadheath area, which was developed into an industrial estate. In 1801, there were four cotton mills in Altrincham, part of its textile industry, although they had closed by the 1851 census. The decline of the textile industry in Altrincham mirrored the decline of the industry in the Trafford area, as a result of a lack of investment and the upsurgence of more established industrial areas such as Manchester, ashton under lyne and Oldham. During the late 19th and early 20th centuries, heavier industries moved into Broadheath, providing local employment. The area steadily declined during the second half of the 20th century, with employment at Broadheath falling from 8,000 to 5,000 between 1960 and 1970. Despite the presence of retailers such as Tesco, Sainsbury's and Marks and & Spencer in the town, and redevelopment schemes costing over £100 million, 
Altrincham's 15.5% level of employment in retail is below the national average of 16.9%. Altrincham, with its neighbours Bowden and Hale, is said to constitute a stockbroker belt, with well-appointed dwellings in an area of sylvan opulence. The historic market town developed as a residential area in the 19th century, although it retains its retail heritage in the old market place, a conservation area, and a new pedestrianised shopping centre. The retail districts of the town have more recently fallen victim to decline due to competition from the nearby Trafford Centre and a regenerated Manchester City Centre. However, the empty shop facilities and run-down sections of the town are being redeveloped. The Trafford Revised Unitary Development Plan, which guides and controls all development in Altrincham, was adopted in June 2006. In 2006, Trafford Metropolitan Borough Council unveiled plans for a £1.5 million facelift for the town centre. The most noticeable current development is the £40 million redevelopment of Altrincham's Stamford Shopping Centre, scheduled for completion in September 2009. The redevelopment will create 146,000 square feet, 13,600 square metres, of new retail space and 203,000 square feet, 18,900 square metres of refurbished space, providing 349,000 square feet, 32,400 square metres in total. Another development, costing £150 million and nicknamed Station Location, is scheduled for completion in 2011. The 4.5 acre, 1.8 hectare site, bordered by Oakfield Road, Moss Lane and the railway station platform, will include an extreme sports centre, an ice rink, the home of Manchester Phoenix Ice Hockey Club, with a 3,000-seat capacity, an 85-bedroom hotel, two new public squares, restaurants, shops, flats, 25,000 square feet, 2,300 square metres of office space, and a 960-space car park. A temporary ice rink was opened in February 2007, near to the site, to house Manchester Phoenix until the new, larger rink is completed. As of the 2001 UK census, Altrincham had a workforce of approximately 48,090 people. The economic activity of residents in Altrincham was 43% in full-time employment, 12.2% in part-time employment, 21.9% self-employed, 2% unemployed, 2.1% students with jobs, 3.6% students without jobs, 14.1% retired, 6% looking after home or family, 2.3% permanently sick or disabled, and 2.2% economically inactive for other reasons. Altrincham has a high rate of self-employment, 22%, compared to the rest of Trafford, 16%, and England, 17%. The town has a low rate of unemployment, 2%, compared to Trafford, 2.7%, and England, 3.3%. The Office for National Statistics estimated that during the period of April 2001 to March 2002, the average gross weekly income of households in Altrincham was £653, £33,969 per year, nearly 30% higher than the average for the North West. According to the 2001 UK Census, the industry of employment of residents in Altrincham was 20.2% property and business services, 15.5% retail and wholesale, 11.6% manufacturing, 11.2% health and social work, 8.8% education, 7.6% transport and communications, 5.6% finance, 5.2% construction, 4% hotels and restaurants, 4% public administration and defence, 0.8% agriculture, 0.7% energy and water supply, and 4.5% other. This was roughly in line with national figures, except for the town's relatively high percentage of workers in property and business services. Section 6. Culture. Landmarks and attractions. On the outskirts of Altrincham is the 18th century Dunham Massey Hall and its 250-acre, 101-hectare deer park, both now owned by the National Trust. The hall is early Georgian in style, and it, along with its stables and carriage house, are Grade 1 listed buildings. Another of Altrincham's attractions is its historic market, set up over 800 years ago, when the town was first established. Stamford Park is a 16-acre, 6.5-hectare park, 
designed by landscape gardener John Shaw. It was opened to the public in 1880 as a sports park with areas for cricket and football. It is now owned and run by Trafford Council. The land was donated by George Gray, the 7th Earl of Stamford. The park is listed as Grade 2 on the National Register of Historic Parks and Gardens. The clock outside the main transport interchange was built in 1880 and has been a Grade 2 listed building since 1985. Royd House was built between 1914 and 1916 by local architect Edgar Wood as his own residence. It has a flat concrete roof and a concave façade and is faced in Portland red stone and Lancashire brick. It is regarded as one of the most advanced examples of early 20th century domestic architecture and is referenced in architectural digests. The house has been a Grade 1 listed building since 1975, one of six such buildings in Trafford. The old marketplace is thought to stand on the site of the original town settlement. Now a registered conservation area, it consists of a series of part timber-framed buildings echoing the wattle and daub constructions of the original houses and burgage plots. The cobblestone paving was replaced in 1896. The butter market, which stood in the area near the old marketplace from the 17th century until the late 19th century, was also the site for dispensing early local justice. A courtroom, stocks and whipping post saw public floggings take place there until the early 19th century. The whipping post and stocks were restored as a tourist attraction by local traders in the 1990s. However, the butter market area was also a site of religious importance, since prospective brides and grooms are thought to have declared their intentions here. In 1814, Thomas de Quincey described the old marketplace in his Confessions of an English Opium Eater while travelling from Manchester to Chester. Fruits and flowers were scattered about in profusion. Even the stalls of the butchers, from their brilliant cleanliness, appeared attractive, and bonny young women of Altrincham were all tripping about in caps and aprons coquettishly disposed. Cultural events and venues. Altrincham has two theatres, the Altrincham Garrick Playhouse and the Club Theatre. The Altrincham Garrick Group was formed in 1913. The Garrick held the world stage premiere of Psycho in 1982. In 1998, it received a grant of £675,000 from the National Lottery as part of a £900,000 redevelopment of the theatre, which was completed in 1999. The Club Theatre Group began in 1896 as the St Margaret's Church Institute Amateur Dramatics Society. It provides a venue for the Trafford Youth Theatre production each year, and it runs the Hale One Act Festival, an annual week-long event started in 1972. The club has received awards from both the Greater Manchester Drama Federation and the Mid-Cheshire Theatre Guild. Altrincham also has Greater Manchester's only Michelin-starred restaurant, the Juniper. Sports. Altrincham Football Club, nicknamed the Robins, were founded in 1903 and play home matches at Moss Lane. The club plays in the Football Conference, the highest level of English non-league football, and the fifth tier overall. In the 1970s and 1980s, Altrincham FC built a reputation for giant-killing acts against Football League teams in FA Cup matches. The club has knocked out Football League opposition on a record 16 occasions, including a 1986 victory against top-flight Birmingham City. Altrincham won the forerunner of the Football Conference in its first two seasons, but was denied election to the Football League on both occasions, falling a single vote short in 1980. Altrincham has since had mixed fortunes. Relegated to the Northern Premier League in 1997, the club earned promotion two years later, but suffered a second relegation after a single season in the Conference. In both the 2005-2006 and 2006-2007 seasons, Altrincham avoided relegation only as a result of other teams being deducted points or being expelled from the conference. Altrincham is one of the few towns in northwest England with an ice rink and has had an ice hockey team since 1961 when Altrincham Ice Rink was built in Broadheath. The Altrincham Aces later renamed the Trafford Metros, existed from 1961 until 2003 when Altrincham Ice Rink closed. The town then had a three-year period without a rink or ice hockey team until construction of the 2,500 capacity Altrincham Ice Dome was completed. 
Manchester Phoenix, a professional team in the Elite Ice Hockey League, relocated to the Ice Dome during the 2006-2007 season, having withdrawn from competition two years earlier due to the high cost of playing matches at Manchester's MEN Arena. When not being used by Phoenix, the Altrincham Ice Dome is open to the public for ice skating. Founded in 1897, Altrincham Kersal Rugby Union Football Club plays rugby union in North 1, the competition below the National Leagues, and is amongst the top 80 clubs in England. Altrincham has been promoted five times in the past ten seasons. The club has produced England and Sale Sharks players Mark Quato and Chris Jones, and continues to produce players for the Sale Jets. Altrincham and District Athletics Club was founded in 1961, and provides training facilities for track and field, road running, cross-country running and fell running. Siemens Cycling Club was formed in 1948 in the area of Altrincham, known locally as Siemens Moss. Section 7. Education. For further information, see the list entitled List of Schools in Greater Manchester. There are 18 primary schools and 8 secondary schools in the Altrincham area, including 5 grammar schools, the Trafford District maintains a selective education system assessed by the 11 plus exam. Several of the secondary schools in the Altrincham area have specialist status. Altrincham College of Arts, Arts Specialist Status, Altrincham Grammar School for Boys, Languages Special Status, Altrincham Grammar School for Girls, Languages Special Status, Blessed Thomas Holford Catholic College, Maths and Computing Special Status, Loreto Grammar School for Girls, Science Special Status, and St Ambrose College, Maths and Computing Special Status. Altrincham Grammar School for Girls was described in its 2005 Ofsted report as outstanding with an outstanding sixth form. Loreto Grammar, a voluntary aided Catholic grammar school, was also described in its 2005 Ofsted report as outstanding, with an outstanding sixth form. Section 8. Religion. See also the list entitled List of Churches in Greater Manchester. As of the 2001 UK Census, 76.5% of Altrincham's residents reported themselves as being Christian, 1.7% Muslim, 0.7% Hindu, 2.8% Jewish, 0.2% Buddhist, and 0.1% Sikh. The census recorded 11.7% as having no religion, 0.1% with an alternative religion, and 6.1% not stating their religion. Altrincham is in the Catholic Diocese of Shrewsbury and the Church of England Diocese of Manchester. There is one synagogue, the Hale and District Hebrew Congregation, on Shea Lane, Hale, and there are plans to build another close by to cater for Jews of Sephardi origin. During the medieval and post-medieval period, the township of Altrincham was part of the Bowdoin Parish. There are five Grade II listed churches in Altrincham, Christ Church, the Church of St Alban, the Church of St George, the Church of St John the Evangelist, and Trinity United Reformed Church. All these churches have been listed buildings since 1985, there are three Grade 2 star listed churches in Altrincham, out of only nine Grade 2 star buildings in Trafford, the Church of St Margaret, the Church of St John the Divine, and Hale Chapel in Hale Barnes. Section 9. Transport. Altrincham Railway Station is the southern terminus of one of the lines of the Manchester Metrolink light rail system, which connects it with the centre of Manchester and locations in Greater Manchester such as Sale and Bury. The Metrolink service also serves the Navigation Road railway station. Metrolink services leave around every 6 minutes between 7.15 and 18.30, and every 12 minutes at other times of the day. National Rail services link Altrincham and Navigation Road stations with Chester via Northwich and with Manchester via Stockport. Altrincham Interchange, next to the railway station, is a hub for local bus routes. Manchester Airport, the largest in the UK outside London, is 4 miles, 6.4 kilometres, to the southeast of the town. Section 10. Notable people. 
Altrincham has been home to notable people, both past and present. Helen Allingham lived in Altrincham, and then Bowden, as a child. Alison Utley wrote the Little Grey Rabbit books while living in Bowden. The dramatist Ronald Gow lived in Altrincham in his youth, and later taught at the local grammar school. It was also the birthplace of the actress Angela Cartwright. Altrincham is home to professional footballers, including Manchester United and Manchester City players, other sports stars, television personalities, particularly Coronation Street actors, and music industry celebrities. Ian Brown and John Squire of the Stone Roses both attended Altrincham Grammar School for Boys. In addition, Paul Young from Mike and the Mechanics and Sad Cafe lived in Altrincham until his death in 2000. Cricketer Paul Allott was born in Altrincham and played Test cricket for England. Allott played for Lancashire between 1978 and 1991 and played his 13 tests between 1981 and 1985. Altrincham-born Bill Speakman received the Victoria Cross for Valour in 1951 in the Korean War. Sir Michael Pollock, an officer in the Royal Navy who rose to the position of First Sea Lord, was born in Altrincham. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the GNU Free Documentation Licence, available at www.gnu.org forward slash copyleft forward slash fdl.html.